uh, the day you gave us, April 28th, 2020. Have you ever pondered upon the issue of uh, Jephthah and his daughter in Judges and chapter 11? Pondered upon the whole issue of the vow that he took. Of course, he took the vow that when he first got back, anything that greets him, he would offer as a sacrifice from the Lord if the Lord granted him uh, victory over the Ammonites. He comes back and then he's faced with this massive dilemma about what to do because his daughter is the first one to greet him when he comes back. So what is he to do? Well, in our, in our culture nowadays, it'd be simply, well, that was a bit rash, wasn't it? I uh, shouldn't have said that, get on with life, uh, uh, Jephthah's daughter's fine and we move on with life. But it's a curious thing, isn't it? He doesn't seem to think that way. His vow stands. His vow is important. And that makes us to think about what is the value of our vows. Are our words of significance or are they just cheap and to be thrown away? Jephthah certainly realised that his words were not cheap at all. He'd said them and there were big implications. Numbers chapter 30 uh, and verse 2, we read something of what it is to uh, give our vows and the importance of, of, of what we express to the Lord. So Numbers chapter 30 and verse 2 would read as follows. Numbers 30 and verse 2 says... If a man vows a vow to the Lord or swears an oath to bind himself by a pledge, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. That was the culture, you see. That, what, that was what was uh, a part of the whole thinking about this taking of vows. And you might say, well, I don't use all my words to... Uh, and, and say that I'm taking a vow to the Lord with them. Some are going to be significant. Some are, are going to be less significant. Uh, the Lord Jesus doesn't let you get away with that. He says that uh, the principle of using our words, every word in a sense is a vow. Every word is significance. He says in Matthew and chapter 5, he says, Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything more than this comes from evil. That's in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 37. And so we need to be very careful about all of our words. You see, when you're in a household or when you're in a church or when you're in wherever and you cannot trust what people are saying, it is very detrimental to the whole welfare of the situation. People don't know who to trust. People don't know who to rely on. It is catastrophic to the whole structure of the society, whether it's the large sphere of society or a smaller sphere, a marriage, a family, whatever. Words matter. Keeping your word matters. Jephthah's commitment to keeping his word must strike us. Must strike us as a very significant issue. So what about ourselves? What about ourselves? Are our words cheap? Can people rely upon what we say? Are our words always considered and carefully chosen? To be rash with our words is not a good thing, is not a godly thing. So let us think about our words and what we commit ourselves to. If we say, then we do. And we are the people who keep their words. So uh, that's the day you gave us uh, thinking about our words on... April 28th, 2020.